Good afternoon, and welcome to another episode of I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. Hi, friends of the podcast. Hello, everyone. Hey, Samantha. Lisa. How's it going? Not bad. How you doing? Good. Good. How you chewing? I was chewing good on some pizza <laughs> and some breadsticks. That's true. And you're absolutely right. We do not need the breadsticks, but they're so good. <laughs> I just, you know what? You have one and a half, and then it's a waste. I know, but here's my thing. Here's my thing, Samantha. What if today's the day I was going to have 10 breadsticks? You won't. But what if it... Ever. But, but what if it was going to be? But you're not that eater. But I want... Sometimes I just think, but if I am that eater today... No, you're not. Then I'm in you're big trouble. You're not going to be that eater. Then I've you? devoured through the pizza, and I'm still <laughs> hungry, and i got nothing left. <laughs> yes, you've devoured the whole pizza, Lisa. And there's nothing left for me to share with my best friend, Sam. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. I got a game. You're delusional. No, I got a game for you. Ready? Mm-hmm. I spy uh-huh. my little eye. Uh-huh. Something that is little, wrapped in elastic, coming out of the back of your head. Do you know what it is? You're making fun of me. What am I making fun of? My hair, my ponytail. I'm making fun of your ponytail, your 5 a.m. pony. Do you not think that the friends of the podcast, who are also apparently my friends as well, I think they should be your may friends. May think that you're just being mean. Well, you know what, though? You're being mean spirited, Lisa. But here's the thing, friends of the podcast. Sometimes I am. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, uh, sometimes I gotta, sometimes I gotta kick her where it hurts. Right? <laughs> That's all, and it hurts me in my hair. It hurts it? you in your hair, right? Or it's like if I said your eyebrow looks a little disheveled, that it would hurt you where I kick you where because it hurts. Because I'm a vain bitch. You are. <laughs> You can be, Samantha. <laughs> so that's all I'm saying. So friends of the podcast, it was a 5 a.m. day for Samantha today because she's got her ponytail on. I got my ponytail on. Yeah. You ever do piggies? No. When you're in Don't private. Don't ask me dumb questions. Side pony? No. No. And when you go side pony, I think the 80s with braces. <laughs> I don't know why because I never had did you braces. Have, did you have a side and pony? And I never had a side pony. But Chrissy Snow from Three's Company did. Yeah, she did. That's where I think a side pony is her. With really? It. Yeah. As I'm like pretending I have one right now in my hair. Yes, you are. Yeah. You're making that gesture. I'm making the gesture. As if you will ever have hair. Yeah. Like that. I won't because you my hair not. just grows big. It doesn't grow long. Like a buffalo. Yeah. It will just like encompass space. That's what my hair does. Awesome. It just takes up volume. Now, Lisa. Yeah. I'm going to get serious here oh, for a second. Okay. I feel we need to explain a few things. All right. Because we've had some new subscribers. We have. Thank God. Have Yay. I'm so excited every time we get new people. Yes. Love our old. Lo- and always we happy love for... love everybody. And just happy. We just love. Yeah. But always think, happy for new too. I think they need to understand, for those people who are new, when Lisa says, friends of the podcast... It's a big old virtual hug. It is. It's completely. And I'm not even a hugger. <laughs> You're like a fist pumper. Yeah, so if, we, if, you, <laughs> if, if all of you friends of the podcast were here around the car at the Lowe's parking lot, I wouldn't be handing out the hugs. I'd be handing out fist pumps because mm-hmm. I'm that girl. Yes, you are. But friends of the podcast is very endearing. I, I feel... It's your quirkiness. It is because I just think that, you know, these people, Samantha, these people, they take their time. They take time out of their day yeah. to hang out with us. I'm, we're not even sure why. Because we don't even know what the hell we are. No, well, because we talk about nothing. We talk about nothing. Yeah, sorry. We're not teaching you nothing. We're teaching you buff kiss. squat. Buff kiss. Right? We're not teaching you how to curl. <laughs> We're not teaching you how to change the oil in your car. No. We're not trying... We're not even trying to teach you how to tell time by the sun. No, nothing. Nothing. I'm not trying to tell you that north is any direction other than the way my nose is. <laughs> We're not trying to teach you nothing. <laughs> We're just two friends sitting in a car Mm -hmm. in the Lowe's parking lot, stealing the Wi-Fi, eating a pizza. Just having a chat. Just chatting. Just like we would if we were at a restaurant. Exactly. We've been doing this for 17 years. Yeah. We just thought, why not record it? Why not record it? Why not record it? So, for those of you who follow along, thanks. Thanks. For those of you who hopefully will start following along, new followers, thanks. Yeah. We're just two weird people. (laughs) Who talk about nothing. Talk about nothing. (laughs) And today, today's podcast is a whole lot more nothing. (laughs) We got nothing. We got nothing. But we're going to talk. But we're going to talk. So here we go. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, two, one. one. Welcome to Lisa and Sam. There. Right? (laughs) That's new. That's completely new. Friends of the podcast, she used jazz hands right there. She did jazz hands with that. Jazz hands. Sorry. I like almost need a little time out right now. I'm like a little stunned. I feel like a little bit like the deer in the headlight. Oh, 
Oh my god, it's many. So here's the first thing I want to talk about. Uh oh. So a lot of a lot of a lot of our a lot of other podcasts that I that I see through Twitter or we listen to and things like that. Mm-hmm. They're all a lot of them are talking sports. Yes, they do. Right, a lot of talk sports. And you know what? This girl here, she loves sports. Yes, she does. This girl this, here, this one does not. No, she does not. <laughs> but here's the thing: everybody's talking so much. NFL, 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 right? This one's in a pool. Who's your mystery pool, right? Who's your Who's your favorite quarterback? Who's your blah blah blah? And I get it. I I enjoy the NFL just like the next Canadian does. Mm-hmm. However, well, we got our own. How about a little CFL love? CFL, CFL, CFL. And we are from Saskatchewan, and the Saskatchewan Rough Riders are our provincial team. Woohoo! Woohoo! We win Grey Cups. We do. Not lately. No. Maybe this year. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. So all I'm just saying is that I think we need to have a little CFL love too. Well, and we just like to mention that once a writer fan, always a writer fan. Yeah, right? Even the hashtag fake fan is a writer fan. Yeah, but I have to be honest, right? I'm a writer fan through marriage. Yes, you are. Because I'm from Ontario. <laughs> so I bleed blue. <laughs> but now I pee green. <laughs> I pee green, right? I bleed blue, but I pee, but I pee green. And now is the time, friends of the podcast, to just really start thinking about our, our Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Because Mike and Lisa Gibson are going to the Grey Cup in Ottawa. Yes, And wouldn't it just be sweet if they were there? Chances the are they won't be. Oh, my God. Okay. I really just, good chance they won't be. Your husband be, will be giddy like a schoolboy. be just like a little girl. Oh, my he Lord. Just be happy like a he little girl. He will not be able girl. to sleep. No. He will barely be able to eat. Oh. It, he will make you go there five hours ahead of everything that you go to. And he'll make the almonds, which will even be priceless. <laughs> even better than making me, making them. <laughs> Because they're never going to be ready five oh hours early for nothing. No, they will not. Right? They might oh as well just God. stay up from the night before. <laughs> right? Should. Let's go, guys. Time to go. Right? <laughs> Pretend it's a bathroom break. Off we go. Right? <laughs> exactly. So that's so that's oh my, my thing God. with the sport. However, as far as the NFL goes, I have to be honest. I'm a Green Bay Packers girl. All right. Because they kind of mimic the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Mm-hmm. The fans, the craziness, the cheese heads. Well, we have watermelon heads. We have watermelon heads. They I, have cheese Which heads. I never really understand, but... Mm, I don't yeah. know why. I, why would I... I mean, like, let's not waste a watermelon on our head <laughs> when we can, like, just eat that baby. <laughs> right? But I do have some sad news. What? It's the end of the season for my Jays this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and friends of the podcast, <laughs> guess who's... A, you, as you know... I'm a, I, I'm a diehard Jays fan, and they broke my heart. Yes, they broke my heart with no promise for a better year next year. I think I think that you were the only fan left watching the games that they had. There's still three games left, and I'm PVRing them, and I'll watch them. Yeah, that's so sad. And then when I talk to other people, like if I have some people like that come shopping in the store and things like that, and they'll say, "So how about your Jays?" And then I just am so embarrassed to say, "Guess who watched all 19 innings?" Because it was a double. <laughs> Because it went into 19 innings, and guess who lost? That would be us. That is so weird that they lost that. That was a while ago, but yeah. 19 it, innings. Samantha, they've lost everything that you can lose. They lost. <laughs> right? Look at that. We're up 26 runs going into the ninth inning. Oh, and we lost by one. Right? <laughs> like, you know how they say, must-see TV? It's kind of like that for the Jays. Once they get to the... It's like, if you're the other team, all you think of is, you know what? If you're the Jays... No lead is safe. No. And if you're the other team, you're just like, we got this. They're going to screw it up. They're going to screw it up. And you know what? They certainly did all year. Oh. But I'm still going to be a fan. I'm all just, right. but this is the first time in two years that we're not like in the playoffs. Okay. Yeah. Does fake fan know that? Fake fan does. Yeah. Fake, fake fan. fan fake, I didn't really call on fake fan a lot this season. No, you didn't. Didn't need to. No. Didn't need her support. No. No. Did, it wouldn't have helped. Wouldn't have helped. No. Fake fan went on a hiatus. Well, and fake fan is a, you know, she's all about positive affirmations. Yeah, and you couldn't do that this no, year. No, because you you were you were still like, boo. I was still and boo. And I'm like, ooh. Yeah, I was like, not responding well. stupid Jays. Yeah, it didn't matter. <laughs> so, yeah. so we Stupid Jays. Stupid Jays. Yeah. Jays. So, that's my sports talk. All right. I just want to be like the other podcast, talk a little sports. <laughs> so, there we go. Well, you can have your two minutes. We just kind of fit in there. And I will not participate. Yeah, because you're not a sports girl. <laughs> like that. No. No. I'm not. However... Were you a new fall TV show watching oh, girl? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, what'd you think? My fat ass was on my couch for a lot of hours. I know, hey? It was like so, like, on the couch. Like, you were like texting me, are you home yet? Not yet. I I, I am still working. I'm still at work till six, Samantha. <laughs> Start it without me. Mm. Start the voice. Well, and we did. We did. So, <laughs> 
the only redeeming quality of the voice right now is Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! She's there. Hallelujah! Jennifer she at Hudson's least there. she at least makes it more interesting. Yes, and last night she was on Seth Meyers, and she was explaining to Seth Meyers about the shoe. Okay, so okay, because she throws a shoe. She says it's a compliment. It's a compliment. Where yeah. she come from? That's a compliment. It's a compliment where she come you from. You know, if I throw a shoe, you know yeah. what that means. Yeah, you know what that means. And that's what <laughs> she was telling Seth, and Seth's like, maybe you should just like carry a crock. So it's not going to be so hard because the shoes that she throws are kind of hard. Yes, they are. And he's like, maybe you should just have one in your purse. And she's like, that defeats the purpose. <laughs> she could take it off her foot and throw it. Because she said one time when she did an audition, mm -hmm. they cleared the tables. They threw everything at her. Did they? Yeah. And she said she knew she did good. Oh. So I don't know whereabouts in the States that's that's the trend. I don't know. But wherever it is. Yeah. But everything else about the voice, mm. kind of boring. I'm not liking it. No. And I think... <laughs> okay, so the only good redeeming quality about the voice, yeah. and maybe they had this, they probably had it other last than Jennifer year, Hudson, other than just for Jennifer Hudson, is the fact that they have an app where you can pick your own team. Hey, that's really cool. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, like I would download that if you live in the states. Oh, really? Yeah. So, because uh, during the show, and I'm like, well, that might make this more interesting because I might actually follow. Yeah. Through the blind auditions, because yeah. right now we're not. We're not. No, we're no, boring. we're not. Because we're it's boring. 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 So I go, I go onto the website, yeah. and I'm like, okay, I'm following. Not in your country. <gasps> Shut up. No way. And I'm like, okay, yo, half your viewing population yeah. is Canadian. So here's my thing. Ready for it? Dear the voice. <laughs> You can air in my country, but I can't play your silly little game. Your game? That might keep me interested in your show. Yeah. Which will help with your ratings. Yeah. Because we, okay, just to let you guys know, we'll sporadically watch the blind audition. Sporadically. We'll sporadically watch the, the they, knockouts. They're definitely the show in between the flip. Yeah. Yeah. But we're not serious no. about this. No. Until we get to the lives. No, not because to the lives. it's so long. Until they're in the lives and everybody's changed their wardrobe. Oh, my God. Right? Like, I don't want to see you in that outfit anymore. Oh, I know. Why is it? That's so weird. Because they film it all, right? So weird. They film it all. Anyway, yeah. so I've come up with something, though, Lisa. Okay, what? I think we... Because I thought you... Because we're competitive. We are. Bring it. <laughs> Which is why I was like, oh, I'm going to tell Lisa about the yeah. app. And then when I tried then to download kick it... your ass. When I tried to download it and I'm like, fuck off. We can still do this. How? Samantha, there's no app. No. Uh -uh. no. Okay. So okay. this is the rules. Okay. You can pick five people from the, the knockout rounds. Okay. Of any coach. Any coach. So you can mix and match okay. from any coach five people. So I get like my little book and I write down my five you people. You write the names of your five people. They don't have to match a coach. They can be any five. It can be any five. After the blind auditions. After the blind. Nope. After the knockouts. Okay, so it goes blinds, knockouts. Knockouts, live. Live. Yes. So for the live. For the live. It, now, does this, is this all so you don't have to commit to a coach? Pretty much. Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm always team Adam. Yes, you okay. are. I know. Okay. So I think that if we do that, and then if we choose the same person, we'll do a coin flip. Oh, okay. And whoever wins the coin flip right. gets that person. Then Why don't we just do rock, paper, else. scissors? No, because you always use a dynamite and that's not fair. Because dynamite beats everything. Yeah. But it's not fair. Okay. Fine. Heads or tails. Okay. Okay? Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay, what? I feel like I'm still going to win. Really? Yeah. Why? Because. You won't. Well. You uh, you haven't even won, like, when we pick coaches. You haven't won either. Yeah. Hi, Adam wins all the time. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. He didn't win last year. But he won one other year. <laughs> he hasn't you, won for a couple of years. Well, you haven't won for any years. <laughs> so, yes, so, there. I'm just saying. So, yes, that's I our am. take on the voice. Okay, so right now, it's not really thumbs up or thumbs down. It's just kind of like, meh. Meh. Yeah. Meh. But Jennifer Hudson, Hudson piques my interest enough to, to flip and pay attention. Agreed. Okay. Okay. Because she's funny. She's funny. She's super funny. Super funny. Yeah. Okay, you know what I think is really interesting? What? The Good Doctor. That was really interesting, that <laughs> show. So, friends of the podcast. We were texting during We were texting the during the show. And the one comment that you made, and I'm like, of course you'd hate that. She's like, oh my God, I don't want to read the TV during yeah, the I TV hated show. That. So, part of the show, right? So, this is like an autistic savant guy. And, and part of the show, whenever he comes across a medical situation, yes. on, on the screen pops up a textbook page of what... His mind is recalling. Yes. Okay. Dude, don't need to read TV. 
That's all I thought. I don't need to read TV because I'm not watching him now. And now I'm trying to figure out the page. Yeah. And the page doesn't stay there long enough no. for me to know exactly how the procedure is about to be done. Yeah. So ditch the page. Okay. So, but I like the main character, which is the autistic savant. Yeah. And his name is Sean. Sean Murphy. Dr. Sean, Mur- Sean Murphy. Dr. Sean Murphy. Yeah. And it didn't get interesting for me so until the last 10 minutes. The last 10 minutes yep. when he was fully in the picture. Yeah. And not just sort of off. There was one thing. line that, that I found interesting and he was talking to, it was, it was a back scene. So like, like a, like what happened in his past life. Mm-hmm. And he says to his brother, his brother and him are, are like living on their own and they're like kids, like 10 or 12 they're or living something. In a bus. They're living in a bus. And, and the doctor says to the brother, can we get a TV? And the brother says, no, dude, we're poor. We're living in a bus. And I, <laughs> and I, and I found that humorous. So that that's kind of funny. That was really and then good. nothing, 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 nothing. Yeah. Until I thought, the last 10 minutes. Yeah. I thought the backstory of Sean Murphy was interesting, Yeah, but it was when they just showed the, the hospital and the doctors. Yeah. And I'm like, so this is your typical doctor yeah. shit. <laughs> but I think what's so cool in the last 10 minutes, it's mm-hmm. like everything came together. So all of a sudden in the last 10 minutes, uh, the autistic man, the doctor, dude's just speaking his mind because he doesn't oh, have yeah. a filter. No, he doesn't. Yeah, and that was cool. I really enjoyed that. Part. Yeah, I really did too because he didn't. He he don't care. No, he just Cause says he, it because he said to this really arrogant doctor yeah. in in he's in a surgery yeah. and he, the doctor allowed him to do one small thing. He goes, and when you're with me or in my OR, this is all you're gonna this do. This is all you're gonna do. Yeah, he goes, and he says something like. Um, does your arrogance help you? Does your arrogance help you? Does it make life easier? Does it make you a better doctor or yeah. something? And he goes, I hope, d- is it working for you? Is it working for you? <laughs> and it was so funny because I'm just oh like, because it made me think. I'm like, hmm, is it? Is it? Right? Because he, he's an asshole. He's an asshole. He's an asshole. Right? And then Dr. Dude with no filter, just he just says it. Which I thought was really cool. I really, uh, so we're going to watch it next week. Yeah. Because the other thing that I really took away from it too, and hopefully they can keep up with it, is what I think, I think that it could be a really important show because I think that it is humanizing a character that normally we would dismiss. Well, because they do. They do. Yeah. Right? And so I think it's humanizing that. Yeah. And I think in, you know, we're all about tolerance. Yeah. So I think that that is hopefully a message that's going to come across in a non-traditional way. Yeah. yeah. And I like shows that have really catchy, interesting, thought-provoking lines. And that yeah. that character definitely has that. Yeah. So I'm, two thumbs up from Sam. Uh, okay. I give two thumbs up, but I'm not saying I give two thumbs up forever. Okay, fine. Okay? Yeah. I'm just saying. Okay. However... <laughs> I'm giving two thumbs up to the Menendez brothers. Yeah, because why? Why, folks? Why? Ask yourselves why. Because oh. Lisa loves a good serial killer. Yes, and she likes a good murder and some blood I and some stuff. I like a good murder. <laughs> I like me a murder. She's creepy. I'm, I just I just <laughs> love their minds. I just think, come on. So it's Law and Order, right? And it's like a special, I don't know, is it like a whole season on them? I think so. How cool. So it's Law and Order, and... One of the reasons why I really like it is because Edie Falco from The Sopranos is in it. Matt, her hair, crazy. She's got crazy hair. Crazy. Crazy hair. Curly, blonde yeah. hair. And kinda I'm like, like that wow. lead, Kind of like that lead singer in that country band who's got like that really crazy big blonde hair. She's like from like Little Big Town or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, She's one. got like that crazy curly yep. hair. Mm-hmm. But Edie Falco's so cool in it. And, and, and it's about murder. Mm-hmm. So pencil man, and it's a real life murder. Yeah. Even better for me. Even better. Even better. <laughs> and it takes place in the late, I think early, early nineties. No, it's 89. 89. To 90. And oh my God. Sam had a I throwback. Was, I'm like, dude rolled up in an IROC, blasting some eighties hip hop <laughs> and was wearing some pink shorts with a sweater. And I, that like, was the look. I remember that look. Hello nineties. Hello. How you doing? Yeah. How, how you doing? How you doing? Hey, preppy boy. How you doing? <laughs> right? And I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. It's like a bad flag. So that's why you loved it. And I loved it because yeah. of the killing. No, because I was watching it and I'm like, well, they kind of already figured out the Menendez brothers no, did it. There's more. It doesn't matter. Because they're poking the holes already. Yeah, but we can't, get, we can't give it away. Uh, not that you can't give it away because it's already given away. It's think- already... <laughs> It's 25 years later. Yes. But I think the shocker of this is, is that I actually am going to watch this. Yeah, I'm surprised. I am not this me. person. You hate killing. I hate killing. I love killing. You no, hate killing. I hate this shit. Kill, but, kill, kill. But you know, this is my, this is, they're Stone Cold Killers. Yeah. Lyle's creepy. Eric is a crybaby. He's a crybaby. And the therapist is a sex pervert. Yeah. That's what I got from the show. That's kind of it. That's kind of it. <laughs> you know. Oh my God. Which then brings me to <laughs> the blacklist. And oh. Samantha, before you start... I have some questions for you. 
Mm-hmm. So Friends of the Podcast because you don't know what you, you don't know what you were watching. That's such a lie. Friends of the Podcast. <laughs> we've been watching the Blacklist since it started. Oh my god! So this is the O-M-G. third season, and I have to be completely honest with you. I cannot tell a lie. One of us gets it. Me. One of us. No. Yes. No. Yes. So here's the thing. Your Samantha. husband tests you, and you don't know how to answer the question. I know how to answer all the questions. <laughs> no, you don't. So, Samantha, I'm speaking. <laughs> I'm speaking. <laughs> So what I'd like to know, Samantha, <sighs> is I want to know, tell me what you thought about it. No, because that's what you say when you have no clue about what went on. No, that's what, no, that's what you always say, because then you make me explain the show no, to you, and you're like, no. that's what I thought too. Did you that's understand what it? you always I say. Don't, I don't. Yes, it is. No, yes, I is. understood it. I just want to make sure Do you, you understand what absolutely. happened? Absolutely. Did you get it? Do you know that Red is her, her daddy? Yeah, I told you that. Season one. Do you know that he lost his empire? Yeah. Do you know that he's trying to rebuild it? Yeah. Do you know the reason why he went after Smokey Putnam? Absolutely. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yeah, you just want me to say because you wanted, don't know. He wanted, you want me to say because you don't no, know. No, because he... <laughs> you That's have why. no clue. I have all the clues. No, you have yes, no I clue. Yes, I do. He did it because... No. And do you know what's in the suitcase? Yeah. That Tom has? Yeah, that Tom has. The suitcase that Tom has. Do you know who's I in know. it? Yes, I know who's, who's in it, Lisa. I know what's in it. What is it? What is it, Samantha? What is it? <laughs> Tell me. What is in no the suitcase? Clue. I have, have a clue. No clue. I have it a clue. It was Mr. Kaplan yes. told Tom Mr. where to Kaplan find it. Mr. Kaplan told Tom Shut where <laughs> to find Shut the suitcase. Up. No, you don't and understand. And Tom went and found you, it. You don't understand. And Tom went you and found it. You don't understand. I do. You don't understand. And Tom pushed it away because he doesn't want Lizzie to see it. What's in it? In the suitcase? Yeah. You tell me. You tell me. I know what's in it. Don't. Mr. Kaplan <laughs> talked to Tom. And Tom went you and got... You have no clue. I have a clue. You have no clue. You don't. That's why you won't spit it out. Just say it. It's Lizzie's mom. I know that. It's her mom. No, you don't. <laughs> and her mom is... Her mom is old Shut and up. dead. I can't believe I'm having this conversation. Her mom is old and dead. And now she's a bag of bones. Her mother is not old and dead. Her mom her, is... Her mother was killed by Red. Yeah. And now he... And now... She's a Russian spy. Exactly. Because she's a spy. Oh my God. So you Red, have no clue. So <laughs> Red <laughs> killed Lizzie's mom. <sighs> yes. I, I can't have... Okay. Liz... Go home and get your get your husband to tell you I about the blacklist. To. I just told you what I happened. I cannot have a proper conversation just, with you when you don't know that. anything. I just said to you, Red is Lizzie's dad. <laughs> Killed Lizzie's mom. Nope. Tom found the suitcase and doesn't want Lizzie to see it. Mm-hmm. Is that not what happened? On I the just suitcase? told you that. That's not how I see it. Uh-huh. Here's what I need, though, from Red. Mm-hmm. Is I don't need Red to be in his friggin' beach shorts and his bare feet. What I need <laughs> Red to be is I need him to be in his little old man fedora killing people. In a three-piece suit. I need him killing people. With a gun in his hand. Yeah, why is he not killing people? I don't know. I don't need him slow dancing with his daughter. Creepy. You knew it was his daughter, right? Oh my god. I'm just saying. Yeah. And do you know the whole relationship to Mr. Kaplan? Yes. Okay, good. Just checking. Have you been watching the last season? Absolutely. I've watched the last two. Mm-hmm. This is the third. Mm-hmm. They have a little girl too. Don't mess with James Spader, man. I know. You love him. I do. He you makes my lady t- my lady parts tingle. He does not make my little <laughs> my lady parts tingle. You know what? It's because of the it's because of the eighties. The 80s were good to him. Yeah, but it's now 2017. No, but I still enjoy him. Okay. There's something about that character that makes me go, okay, even though you're, you know, a little overweight balding man, I'm okay with that. You still tingle. (laughs) (laughs) That's more information than I need to know. Probably. I'm just saying. Just saying. I'm just saying, Samantha. (laughs) So yay, two thumbs up to the blacklist. And we'll probably keep talking about the blacklist because we love it. We love it. And obviously one of us has to keep explaining it. You. Okay, but... The reason also why I love The Blacklist is because he always has the best one-liners. He does. He's so good. Right at the beginning, when they're at the carnival, yeah. they pass a sign that says, fried butter, deep fried butter. Which sounds wonderful. Which sounds horrible. Sounds like a dream. And he says, he says, I'm like fried butter, unhealthy, but irresistible. Mm. <laughs> I love that. I think I would love fried butter. That's your fried butter dipped in cinnamon. Oh, oh. that would make my lady parts oh, tingle. No. <laughs> that is disgusting. I don't think it is. It can't be. It must that be is wonderful. That's disgusting. It can't be. That's disgusting. It can't be. Ugh. What other shows did we watch this week, Samantha? Well, we all, we watched a little bit of Brave. 
Yeah. Which was really good, actually. Really good. Like, for, like, I only saw 20 minutes of it, so next week, maybe I'll... I think I could invest in that. Yeah. I think it was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I can't... I don't think we can tell you anything about it, Friends of the Podcast, because we really. didn't really watch it. Well, no, because it's, like, a military ops kind of type yeah. thing. with Anne Heche. With Anne Heche. Yeah. Yeah, and then I watched the SEAL team, yeah, which I, I don't uh, think you did. No, I don't give a shit and about that. And it's got David Baranz in it, and I don't it's like actually him. quite good. I don't like that guy. I know, but I thought it was good. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I And then I realized something about my TV watching, but... I apparently like to watch shows with really cute people, really cute boys, uh-huh. men, sorry, men, men, men. And, and that makes me vain because I don't even care if there's a good storyline. You just want, I just you're like all about, I want, I want the eye candy. I want the eye candy. You want the eye candy. Because you know what, Lisa? Samantha. That's how I de-stress after a long day of work. A little bit of eye candy. <laughs> a little bit of eye candy. <laughs> and that makes it stressless. And then, stressless for you. if there's a decent story, yeah. that's the bonus. Well, I have a story to tell you. Uh-oh. So something, a new development in the Gibson household. Uh oh, has to do with my favorite show, Forged in Fire. Oh, good God! So Forged in Fire didn't just start up this week for no. the new season. It's been going on for a few. Yes. And Mike PVR'd all them, right? <laughs> and I love me some Forged in Fire because guess what? It will cut, it will kill, and I can make it. No, you. Can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. No, you can't. So, anyways, so every Sunday when Mike and I are home, we watch the Jays, and then I say to Mike, "Did you want to watch Forged in Fire? No." What do you mean, no? I'm like, how are we ever going to get caught up if we don't ever watch it? No. And I'm like, okay. (laughs) And then I get upset, and then he's like, fine, we'll watch it. He's like, we'll watch it. So he puts one on, and I'm like, as the show's going on, I'm like, think you can make that? And he's like, and this is why I don't want to watch it. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a bladesmith. I don't know. And he gets all like uppity and I don't know how to make a knife and I don't know how to, I don't know how to make a sword, but I certainly wish I had something that would kill. Right? I can see his big right? hands and I, flailing. Like, I'm looking for something that'll kill right now. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, but calm down, dude, because guess what? I could walk you through it. Oh, you can't. I could walk you through oh how to make gosh. that sword. You guys, she's delusional. She thinks that she could be a blacksmith, and she not really Not a blacksmith. Can't. I'm not making oh, horseshoes. Sorry. A bladesmith. A bladesmith. Yes. I could be a bladesmith. I can. No, you and can't. When I watch it this season, it, no, just, it just hammers it in more. I'm like, mm-hmm, no. mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, mm-hmm. Damascus steel, uh-huh. Do it. In the quench, same thing. And now, so now, I'm not, we're not allowed to watch that show together. No, because you've ruined it I for him. him. I wrecked Forge Oh, fire. my God. I'm even watching repeats now. You, oh, my God, you're obsessed. I'm honing in on my skill. You have no skill. I don't know. Your dad won't make a forge. <laughs> I want the old man this, to make a forge. This swirling backyard cannot afford that. It goes in the garage. It doesn't. No. Yes. There's no room. Uh, There's no room. Okay. Anyways, I'm just saying. So oh. so that's the newest development. So my one of my favorite shows, we are no longer able to watch as a couple. No. 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 You ruined it for him. I wrecked it for Way him. Way to go. Because no. And so he said, and then his parting words were, so just remember, every time I watch it by myself, not for one second do I ever think that you maybe <laughs> could make any of these things. <laughs> I'm like, that's so hurtful. That's so funny. It's like squashing my spirit. That's what he did. He yeah, squashed my spirit. It's, he was good at that. Whatever. I think he should stick with that. Yeah, whatever. Hey, but you know what? What? Will and Grace. I loved it. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, friends of the podcast, you should see Sam's little yeah. puckered up face right now. You know what? Parts of it were funny. Yeah. I didn't care for the political stuff. Because you hate politics. I don't hate it. No, but you're not that girl. But I don't want it in a comedy. I did. No, I don't. I loved it in the comedy, actually. No, I know you did. I really did. Tell them the parts that you loved, Lisa. I loved all parts of it. Did you really? Yeah. I did. I started laughing right from the beginning. Really? Yeah. I was laughing. Really? And you know what? I never really watched the show the first go, hey? Oh. No, but I but bits of it I did. Yeah, so one of my favorite quotes, quotes so it all is taking place in, like, Washington, D.C., right? Yes. Because uh, Will is, is trying to do something with somebody, and Grace is going to be redecorating the Oval Office, and Karen's just Karen. Happy she's rich. Because Karen knows Melania. Yeah, right? <laughs> and Jack's there. And Jack. Right? Mm-hmm. And Jack. So anyway, so they're in the they're in the Oval, and one of my favorite comments was from Karen when somebody poured her a drink and she says what's with the Laura Bush pour give me the full Pat Nixon and I'm like I love it <laughs> right I just I just think see and I'm so just funny. even listening to it again I'm like mm-hmm Wow. I know. And then like when she says to Jack so did you get serviced and he's like shh it's a secret because all the secret oh, yeah. service are gay yes yeah, but that was really funny yeah. yeah no I liked it don't get me wrong I, funny. I don't want 
their entire shtick to be, I don't want next week to be about the politics. Okay. So hopefully it was just to get it out of their system. I think it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and then I, but okay. I enjoyed it because parts of it were funny. Yeah. I love Karen. Karen is hilarious. I think she's so funny. She's very funny. Yeah. I liked it. I, you know, I'm going to watch it again. Okay. Yeah. All I'm right. going to watch it again. And, and we've committed to all the Chicago's. All the Chicago's. The PDs, the fires, the meds. The meds. Yeah. They got rid of the justice, thank God. Yes. It was I, feel, so I, had, I hated watching that one last year. It was so boring. Yeah. But I, and, and you know, and I think they'll be fine. Fall is very busy for us. It is very busy. Very busy sitting. Very. Eating. Eating. Snacking. Snacking. Watching. Putting on more weight. Cute men. Putting on more weight. <laughs> Help. We just shrunk my summer clothes. We're going to be there in six months, friends. You know that, right? <laughs> right? We're going to be volume two. Yeah, that's true. Right? That is so true. It's completely true. But I think that so far I was okay. All right. Yeah. And the Chicago's are very serious shows, but usually but they're still just, but just and good. still good. Yeah. Yeah. With cute people. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's what keeps me coming back. Yeah. So even though Casey didn't die in the fire, but, I was really hoping you would. But did you, but were you fooled? I was completely fooled. Were you? Yeah. Completely didn't see it not coming. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I did not see it not coming. I saw like the previews <sighs> and then when they were doing like, like the service, and she was in black. I'm like, oh, I said to Mike, like, he died. And Mike didn't say anything, which makes me think he knew he didn't. <laughs> yeah. And then they showed the big picture and I'm like, oh, I'm like, and I said to Mike, I said, I really needed him not to die because I just didn't want all the drama of Gabby falling apart. <laughs> right. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm a good friend, but I'm not I, that good of a friend. I like the way you- <laughs> oh my god she's not your friend Lisa she's a fictional co- fictional co- fictional character well fictionally I didn't want to have to deal with her I didn't want to have to deal with her shit okay right I didn't want right. to have to deal with her shit right. so he lived but I no, I was I was like oh, I didn't see that at all just like the blacklist not like the blacklist yeah pretty much dead mom in the in no the you didn't know that Absolutely. we can't go back there we because can't. I will lose my shit yeah you will I'm gonna you lose will. my shit yeah Lisa. Samantha. I think you told me you had a, I didn't just read that moment. I do. Okay. So first off, I didn't just read it. No. Okay. So here's the part of the show where, where every now and then when something comes up that kind of catches us off guard, we feel we need to discuss. Mm -hmm. So I have a friend back from, back from like when I was like living in Ontario from Stainer. Her name's Carrie Ferguson Burmeister. And she sent me this news article about a Northern town in Ontario. Mm -hmm. And are you ready for this, Samantha? What? They're banning cartwheels <laughs> because you could get a concussion, hurt your neck, or your wrists. Yep. Serious? Serious. They're banning the friggin' cartwheel. <laughs> right? I get, right? We ban peanuts. Got that. Right? I get, right? Right? <laughs> we ban no. milk products. Okay, I get that. Kids are gluten free. Right. We got gluten free. We ban the crop top in schools and the short shorts. I get that. I don't get. We ban the cartwheel. So obviously, they're gonna ban something else too. But they've said it's not because there was any injury. So the way, so you just put like all your topics. Okay, let's put all the shit kids can do and public school kids can do. Let's put it all in a hat and let's shake it up. And it's September first, and we are gonna ban. Oh darn. The cartwheel. The cartwheel. How about ban reading? How about somersaults? No, I, I think it will all be banned because that would hurt your neck. Yeah. So basically, anything gymnastic no, related. I think, no, anything. Anything related with running. Because you know what? If this oh was. Oh my God, they're going to. There's no more track? No. So there's no the, more high jump? There's nothing. So if this was me back in my Bing public school days in like the early 70s, they would have had to ban me because I was road rash. <laughs> Right? I couldn't walk without tripping on a speed bump. I couldn't walk without falling. I couldn't walk without my shoes becoming unlaced. I couldn't ride my bike without my pant leg getting caught in the chain and falling off my bike. So I would have been banned. So so here we are in 1974 and we're banning Lisa McIntyre <laughs> from being public school. Because she may get a concussion, hurt her wrist, or her neck. Got it. Right? Okay. What do you think about that? I think it's ridiculous. Beyond. Like, they're kids. They're you kids. can't ban somersaults. You can't. So what are you going to do when you see a, a little girl or a little boy do a somersault? Are you going to throw him in the principal's office and right? give him shit? Yeah, like for your mom. being a kid? Yeah, sorry, you're suspended. That looked like a cartwheel. Not a good cartwheel, Samantha. Oh, did I say somersault? 
Oh, you said somersault. Oh, sorry, cartwheel. But I think somersault would be part of it. It's my 5 a.m. It's her 5 a.m. Sorry. And it's the pony. Yeah. Oh! Oh! oh snuck it back in. Oh. But that's the thing. Like, that's the most ridiculous. So when she sent me this article, I'm just like, I did not just read that. Yeah, that's sad. That's brutal. Uh, okay, Come guys, on, Northern Ontario. Is, is this a little overkill? I think so. Are like, we? Like, and then, you know, and now, and now this school in Northern <laughs> Ontario, let me guess. We have a new school uniform. It's made of bubble wrap. <laughs> that's what I'm right? <laughs> Come on, hey! Don't get me wrong, right? I would have probably appreciated it. Probably would have saved my mom a lot of issues with my knees and my pants. Yeah, but we're gonna bubble wrap kids. We're gonna now. bubble wrap your kid before you go to school, now? right? We're gonna, right? We took the peanuts oh. away, and now we're gonna bubble wrap your kid. Oh my god! Right? And then only homeschool. That is sad. Right? I know. so sad. I couldn't believe I just read that. Because I think they're gonna ban reading. Because you know it hurts your eyes. I said, well, I'm fine with that. Ban the ban goddamn reading. Like the- like let's get real. Like let's people. ban like let's ban something useful. Like let's ban like like then what? Let's ban the ruler because you know I could hit you with it. And pan you could like stab, stab you with it, with it. <laughs> right? So I think they have bigger fish to fry. I think they do. I think they have bigger fish. Yeah, that's so sad. thank you, Carrie, for sharing that. Yeah. I could not believe that I just read that. Yeah, that's sad. And I shake my head with Lisa and Sam. Two thumbs down. I agree. Two thumbs down. It's like I wish I had a T-shirt. Don't ban the cartwheel. <laughs> Hey? It's a movement. It's a Hashtag movement. Hashtag don't ban the cartwheel. Hashtag don't ban the cartwheel. That's what I feel we need to do. We'll put it on our Instagram. I, you know what? We will. We'll tag it. Hashtag yeah. don't ban the cartwheel. Yeah. Right? Okay. Kids, just be careful. Yeah. Right? Well, they should. Just be careful. Someone's teaching them how to do a cartwheel. Yeah, exactly. Sake. Exactly. Right? Well, do you have an I shake my head then? Do you have one? Well, I do. I want to hear yours. <sighs> Okay. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Because really? I'm going to sound maybe cheap. I don't know. It's hard to say. But I have issues. You have it. Friends of the podcast, you got issues. Okay, that's not what I meant. Oh, sorry. But I, sorry. Thank you for clarifying that <laughs> for me, Lisa. <laughs> you, you opened the door and, and you I walked, walked through. in. Yeah. Um, okay, so we went for Sunday brunch mm-hmm. this past Sunday. And we went to... A, a lovely brunch in a hotel here in Saskatoon. Oh. I'm not going to say Cause, where or when. Because we do breakfast good. We do. Yeah. Breakfast is good. Breakfast is and good. And this was a good breakfast. It was, it was, really it was good. good. It was lovely. It was blah da da Yep. We forgot how much it was. Yeah. Yeah. And now, so when we got and now you just made me feel cheap. <laughs> yeah. And I don't so, think I'm cheap. Yeah. But I was fine until she put the bill on the table and I looked and I went, <gasps> and I know. And you were like, what? And I'm like, I forgot it was 20 Twenty-eight dollars for the buffet, but okay. But in fairness, okay. to the buffet, it, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. You can't eat it all. You cannot eat twenty-eight dollars worth of brunch food. No. You are stuffing your face with the pastries and the egg stuff, and then the oysters. And the, we're not gonna. I'm not eating the seafood shit. And no. I didn't have the roast beef, and there was ham there, and there was. You could make an omelet. Which you was could yummy. Have waffles. You could do all this stuff. Yeah. You're never gonna eat. $28 worth of food. And what if we were a family of four? Oh my God. Right? You'd go broke. That just got really expensive. <laughs> Hello, Smitties. Yeah, I know. Right? How, how you doing, Greenfield? Right? Exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but I was just like a little caught off guard. Yeah. And I thought, okay, it was a good brunch. It was a really good brunch. But it wasn't $28 it worth. It was, you know what? It was $20 worth. At the very most. I know. I give it 20 I don't give it 28 Yeah. I give it 20 Was coffee included? Yeah. Yes. Yes. But I was just like, ugh. But imagine if you ordered a pop. Oh, my God. Well, we know. We learned from the week before. No, we learned from the week no before. No pop. Yeah. So right. that's why I shake my head yeah. because I don't understand how a lovely establishment can charge you realistically that much for food that they can't possibly think that everyone's going to eat $28 worth no, of food. No, you just can't. Because you know what? Had I not had I known that going in... Yeah. Or gotten the bill sooner, I would have gone back to the buffet just, with my purse and stuffed my purse full of shit. Because I want my twenty eight dollars. Spoken like a cheap fat girl. Yeah, I, <laughs> I would have taken all the croissants off that tray. Right, mine. And These are mine. Mine. I would have done it all. Mine. Jello mine. I would have waited there yeah. with a plastic container. I'd like an omelet, please. You know, Samantha, <laughs> we would not have done anything else. We would have just stayed there till what time is the buffet done? Five. Five. Okay. Let me know. Have a little nap there, the whole bit, <laughs> right? Just so we could go back. Saying. I know. I shake my head. But it was good. Okay. It was good, but I shake my head too. Yes. We both were kind of like, Ugh. Yeah, yeah, we were. That's why we. That's why we don't buffet. That's why we don't brunch often. No. We breakfast, but we don't, we brunch. don't brunch. No. No. Okay. So you ready for mine? Yes. Mine changed a few times through the week. Why? Because just when I thought I had it, there was something better that came along. <laughs> 
That's how my week went, Samantha. Oh, my God. So, we, okay. So, here's my thing, and I have it in my hand. It's the tied to go pen. It's my shake my head moment. Why? I know. Right now, you're like, how can that possibly... Yeah, I'm shaking my the, head at you. What did the tied to go pen ever do to you? Okay. Here's the thing. So, friends of the podcast, you know that the tied to go pen takes out little stains. Yes. If you've ever used it, you know that to get that little stain out, you have to put a fair bit of force on the tip of the tied to go pen. Or else, yeah. Right, because because it, the liquid doesn't just come out when you take no, the, it. Does no, it No, right? You have to push down. Yes. Okay. So, as I was using it, and then, of course, I was excited because I can read the instructions on it. Woo. Because normally you can't. No, because they're so tiny. But here's what's funny, okay? So, the first thing it says is that caution may irritate your eyes. For this sucker to irritate my eyes, I have to, like, gouge my eyeball out well, with the hard tip. Listen. I'm raising my hand. I'm raising my hand. Okay, yes, I have a question. Samantha. Why the hell would you put that pen anywhere near your eyeball? Well, what are you doing? And why are you pressing your, eye, your pen into, into your it. eyeball? Exactly. But for the rules to be there, did somebody? <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> right? And then, keep out of reach of children. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right? But then, here was my kicker first aid treatment how is this little tie to go why is there even first aid treatment needed you may ask well because if you are consuming the tie to go pen if you ingest the tie to go pen uh-huh. right and again it's like a hard foreign body you are supposed to are you sucking on the end of that thing no it says if ingested drink a glass of warm water ugh so if I swallow, am I to swallow the Tide to Go pen? Because I'm not like the lady sword swallower. No, because I'm thinking if you've stuck the Tide to Go pen on the tip yeah. of your tongue and like pressed down and, and then all got the all liquid, the liquid, maybe, maybe yes, somebody did that. Well, I guess what this somebody did, not that this somebody oh took the Tide to because I was curious. I took the Tide to Go pen. Do you know curiosity killed the cat? But it didn't, and I dabbed it on my finger. Mm-hmm. I licked my finger. It's fine. Well, you're still alive. That's fine. I didn't need to drink water or nothing. That's fine. So, tied to go pen, you were kind of a little bit of my shake my head moment because you just seem so dramatic. In it's all, very dramatic. In all of your, what you must do. Don't do this. Do Don't this. Don't do that. Don't if do If you this. do this, do yeah. that. Right? What about like things like, 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 like a bottle of like rubbing alcohol? I bet you is not this detailed. Probably not. Probably just has the skull and bones and they figure you should get that. <laughs> but that's not even on here. They don't even do that picture. So this will not kill. Okay. It will just not make you feel good. Alrighty. Yeah. That was my that was my shake my head moment. It was the tie to go pen. That's a weird one. I know. It's like caught your attention. It bothered me yesterday. Okay. I'm like, oh my god, I was like fixated on it. You know how I get <laughs> a bit of a dog with a bone. <laughs> and then all day. Dog and a puffy yeah, and I tail. just kept thinking like that would hurt my eye. And yeah. Okay. So I don't know. That's I don't weird, man. I know. Sorry. Weird. Well, it's just random things that make me shake my head. Okay. We're a podcast about nothing. This is true. That's part of it. That is very nothing. And that's just a random topic that popped into my head yesterday yeah. that I thought I need to discuss. <laughs> you right? Good on you. Thanks, Samantha. All right. All right. But we're going to give a shout out to somebody who shouts out for us. Yes, absolutely. Thursday Ketchup. Thursday Ketchup. And they are a bunch of awesome dudes. I had the pleasure of listening to their podcast. Samantha, did you know they are they are our third YouTube subscriber? Cool. I know. Cool. Friend, friend, Thursday Ketchup. <laughs> now, friend of the podcast. Friend of the podcast. Right. So, these lovely gentlemen are coming up on their one year anniversary. Which is so awesome. Happy anniversary, yeah. guys. Next week. Wow. You should go check them out, guys. They're pretty cool. They talk about gaming and movies. And they and retweet us. To, they retweet yeah. us. Like, they're, you know, I will say this about the podcasting community. Friendly. Support, super friendly, super supportive. And these guys are super friendly and super supportive, mm-hmm. too. They're very nice yeah. guys. And I just thought, you know what? I think they deserve a shout out from us. For sure. Right? Not that that gets you anywhere, guys. No, but check but it out. Check them out. Because you know what? They're worth listening to. They are. And they're friends of our podcast. They are. Yeah. Because we're just friendly. We're just friendly We're just way. two friendly fat girls sitting in a car eating pizza. Eating pizza. <laughs> saying two thumbs up to Thursday's ketchup. <laughs> and if you didn't get it, it's Thursday's catch up. Catch up. Because they catch up on they Thursdays. Up. But it's catch up. Because they're buddies. Because they're pals. They're pals. Yeah. Like pals. us. Just friends. <laughs> just dudes. Thanks for supporting us, guys. Yeah. And Samantha. Our next topic. Oh. It's so. It's like top secret. It's completely Do you think top we should, secret. Should we tell them that what the topic's going to be? Yeah, I think no. we should tell them. No, no, no. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Top secret. Top secret. Keep them in suspense. Okay. Right. 
We're throwing caution to the wind. Oh, caution. Uh-huh. Oh. That's we're, getting serious. We're not letting you know. Okay. We're not letting... All but right. there will be a topic next there week. There will be a topic. There will be a podcast. <laughs> And there will be a topic, we promise. <laughs> we're, we're not making it up. We're not. There is, a, there is a topic. There is a topic. We're just not telling you we're about it yet. We're just not telling you about it. Right? It's top secret. Stay tuned. It's a secret topic. Top, top secret, secret topic. Absolutely. Woo, woo. <laughs> I, I, just want, I just wanted to get that in there. I just wanted to get that in there. Oh, my God. All right. Samantha, <laughs> mm-hmm. always a pleasure. It should be. Mm.